There are very few brands that I specifically call out and talk about, whether it's on this podcast or in any of the other content that I create for you. And that is because I generally will only talk about a brand specifically when I have used them, I love them, I trust them, I think they are a brand that is doing the absolute best they can to genuinely provide the best product they can for your pets. When I decided to have this guest on today's podcast, I wasn't 100% sure at first, and then I decided to just take a deeper dive into the products they are offering, why and how they were created, and try them out myself. So that's exactly what I did. And yes, this is a little bit of a newer company to the market, but I think that's okay because of the products that and the quality of products that they are giving us. So what company am I talking about and who am I referring to? Well, I am talking about Poly Pet products. Now, if you're on social media, there is a good chance you have seen some of their advertising. And I will tell you straight up, the first time, I mean, for a long time, I saw their advertising. My social feeds was inundated with their advertising. And I just kept scrolling past like, oh, it's just another supplement company until I dug in and looked at what they're doing. So to tell you a little bit more about the company and the products that they offer, I invited Spencer Matthews from Polypet Products to join me on today's podcast episode. And hopefully you'll find that whether you are in the market for any one of their supplements or not, you'll file this information away for future use because I can guarantee you that there is at least one product in this product line, and I have it in mind right now, that your pet could actually benefit from today. With that being said, <laughs> I don't want to hype this up too much. I want to introduce you to Spencer Matthews and Poly Pet Products. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. Well, Spencer, thank you so much for joining me. Spencer is with Polypet. So we are going to be talking all about Polypet today and kind of getting into the nitty gritty of dog supplements because my mind is like all over the place. So hopefully you can help me like take this crazy line and, and flatten it out a little bit. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Thanks for having me. And hopefully I can help a little bit for you and, and the yeah. audience. So. Well, I appreciate you being here. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Polypet and what, like, what is the mission? What is Polypet here to do? What are, what's the goal? Yeah. Um, so my involvement started uh, almost a year ago, really kind of loosely in the background as I kind of came into the business and became more aware of it. Um, was working in human supplements in the gut health, the detox and immune supplement world for the last five years, um, heavily with uh, functional medicine docs and, and everything there. And um, kind of joined Polly from the sidelines and, you know, from, from the outside. And then really just beginning this year, jumped in uh, to the day-to-day -day just a few months ago, really learning more about the products and learning about how to share them. So I'm, um, you know, experienced with the brand, but still learning every day and um, excited to bring it more to the world and help develop new products. But um, Polly really started um, in, in the early fall of 2021 on a mission to help um, our pets find natural solutions, right? And supplementation in general um, it has some um, misnomers and myths and challenges, and but finding natural supplements is even harder. Right, and then helping people understand the importance and the need for detox 
but it's still even harder. So we wanted to use some of what we see work in the human world with pets as we got awesome feedback from people using human supplements on their pets, right? And then creating custom formulated products for pets specifically. So that was kind of the birth of PolyPet products. Um, and then over the last year and a half, you know, we've come out with a handful of other products in that same vein, but really natural solutions that parents, pet parents can trust are going to do good for their pet. And um, they could honestly even take themselves, but yeah. Awesome. Well, I know, uh, you know, just in talking to you prior to recording, uh, we chatted a little bit about how saturated the market is. We know like whether you're looking at human supplements and now looking at dog supplements, like it is a super saturated market. There are supplements galore. And I know like people that I work yeah. with individually who are coming to me for health coaching for their pet. I mean, they'll have a list of supplements that they're feeding their dog. And I'm like, is your dog getting any food in there? Like what is going on <laughs> with mm -hmm. all of these supplements yeah. that we're giving our dogs? Um, so for me, I like to, and I know I told you this, if I can do it with whole foods, then by all means, I want to do it with, with, with food. And then if I can't, or if I'm not getting the results that I'm looking for, then I look to add in supplements. And so my supplement cabinet is minimal, but I've recently I added some polypet uh, supplements to my cabinet because I think that uh, you know, after talking to you and getting some feedback from other pet health coaches, the supplement line that PolyPet has is different. So, and I know you kind of alluded to like, you're looking, PolyPet is looking to do like as natural as possible. Um, so I know personally, I started with the detox product. Um, so I don't know if you have specific products that you'd like to talk about, but if you want to start with a detox product, yeah. I think that's a good one to start with. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely believers that food is the best medicine, you know, and nothing's going to substitute that. Um, and I think where supplements go wrong and where they unfortunately have taken um, a turn is that people turn to that first before they turn to food. Right. And the word supplement by uh, alone really by definition is to supplement your, your diet, right. Your nutrition. Um, and it's funny that it's so foreign for people. So you're, you know, you're one of those that are kind of shouting it from the rooftop and I love it. You haven't created the supplement graveyard because you're so conscious about what you're doing with food first. And, and we're definitely not here to replace food by any means. Um, but detox is one area where food and, and nutrition and diet often can fall short just because of the toxic load that we've created by our environment and the thousands of registered and unregistered chemicals in herbs, herbicides, pesticides, cleaning products, household products, right? And as clean as you can get even in your home, it's just inevitable at this point, right? That detox is no longer an option, but it's really a requirement, at least uh, occasionally, right? Um, and some pets need it more than most, right? In terms of how deep you go into a detox. But but yeah, I mean, uh, we have a, a detox bundle, which is three of our top selling products. And the one that you picked up, I think was our, our Renew product, uh, PolyPet Renew, which is our binder. Um, and then we have, uh, which really is focused on helping, you know, bind and remove um, the toxins. And then we have Boost, which is our mitochondrial cellular support product. And that's a liquid. Um, and then we have a, a Nourish, uh, which is a, a multi-blend. Those are kind of the three you know, that we see, hey, um, Three components, right, to, to the, the basic components of the detox, which food, you know, the importance of food can help with that of, hey, let's help up upregulate energy, mitochondrial cellular energy in a way that allows your pet to naturally remove toxins and waste out of the product through the lymphatic system, the digestive system, run it, the kidneys and livers and, and other things there. Because that's all natural process, but a lot of times with the tox we have to support them. Um, so by removing toxins, um, you're reducing stress on the cells and on, you know, enzymatic reactions and on the body and, and on everything that your pet, but then by also supporting cellular function and mitochondria, you're also kind of creating a balance um, where there's higher energy level than toxic load. And that's what, that's what boosting renew kind of tag team together. That's the power of both of them is that, you know, Renew is focused on reducing toxin load, while Boost is focused on upregulating 
mitochondrial energy. And if you can make sure that, you know, your, your energy levels are higher than your toxicity, well, then the body will naturally by itself, you know, complete natural detox, you know, uh, processes. And so that's really the functions of those two. And then, you know, you come in with the micronutrients and the vitamins and the minerals and the probiotics and prebiotics with something like a nourish, right? Once you kind of go through that detox period, um, that can then help just maintain a, a healthy homeostasis. So mm -hmm. that's that's our you know uh, approach and kind of function of of those products. But. Yeah, no, I'm glad you explained it that way because um, the boost is actually the one that I'm going to be adding in with her soon. Um, I like to kind of pulse. I don't. Mm -hmm. For a little while, I was giving her a supplement like every day for like a year. And then, and just, I don't know, I, I got good results from it. And it was what I called her multivitamin, though it was, it was a um, transfer factors from bovine colostrum. And we were getting good results from it. But after talking to some of my colleagues, I was, it, we kind of came, like I came to the realization in talking with some other people that the body is going to kind of get used to it. <laughs> getting yeah, the same absolutely. thing over and over and over again after a while. So having, um, if you, if you know that there is some sort of deficit that you need to meet with supplementation for your dog or your cat, that one, I, you know, pulsing, I think is, is a good, um, way to go about it. Like, you know, give it for a little while, then don't give it for a little while and give it for like, so the body doesn't really get yep. super used to it, but also having, and this probably isn't going to be a very popular statement for you, but <laughs> having multiple brands that you can rely on and trust. Um, so again, you're getting that kind of rotation and you're not giving the body the same thing all the time. Um, for me is I think really, really important. So having, a, you know, a couple or a handful of companies that you really, really trust that you feel like you can reach for their product and you not think twice about it is important to me. And I think with doing a little bit of research that in my mind, I have very, very few supplement companies that I look at that way. And I think Polypet is, is one of them. Yeah. And, and I mean, yeah, we have a certain line, but we're, we don't have every solution. Right. And, Yes, we have a binder, but there's other binders out there, right? And, you know, having, identifying a rotation and, and yeah, we're going to be doing product development to hopefully provide more solutions soon um, in the coming, you know, months and years. But we're, you know, we're, we totally know that part of the parenting protocol is to find multiple options. And, and we hope that we can be part of yours, right? And, and we're grateful that we can be because we know we're not going to be the end all. Um, but yeah, that pulsing method. You know, that kind of rotational method of you know uh, switching on and off products, you know, switching on and off detoxing or deworming or cleansing, right? Um, is a great approach. Yeah, so I know for my dog specifically, like when I am supplementing, I have a very like I have I have a reason that I'm supplementing, and I also am doing my best. Uh, at collecting data to, to find out, is this working for me? Is this working for my dog, right? Or my cat, if if that happens to be the, the pet you're um, dealing with. And sometimes that can be really hard. Sometimes we have to look at anecdotal evidence. Um, so when you're developing products like this, what what are you looking for? What are you expecting? What are you hoping that people are seeing results in their pets? wise <laughs> yeah, when we, yeah yeah when we formulate we really start with uh ingredient research right things that have substantiation that have been proven to have certain effects in the past um some of this you know has been tested on humans and then you know uh, tested with pets and then we we try to run you know baseline kind of sample formulas and test them on both you know cats and dogs and, and various animals to see are they getting the results or the effects that we think that they should, you know, based on our, our, our research. Um, but pets can't talk, right? And so it is hard to get that immediate feedback. Um, and some things take more time than others. Uh, but really at, at the end of the day, like we have seen, you know, um, to your point, science, like can the pet 
do they wake up with more energy? Can they jump in the back of the car when they couldn't before, right? Little things like that. Can they, are they less hyperactive when they're kenneled um, than they are normally, right? Are they, just so, so things like that are kind of things that we hear and that we look for, right? How they interact with other animals or with strangers is often, you know, a sign um, for some of that anxiety reduction. Um, allergies are a big one, especially with de detox too, um, that we've seen kind of be eliminated. So those are some of the early signs that you can see, like, Hey, is this detox being effective? Like, are there less sniffles or are there less like ticks because of, you know, allergies or seasonal stuff like that? So that's often right. Whether you're using, you know, uh, changing your diet to raw food or, or, um, to more holistic options, like those also should be signs you look for too. And some of that, like are allergies being reduced? Are some of those things uh, improving? Because um, to me, those are, and to us, like those are stories we hear about you know, it working, but those are also things we look for. So. Yeah. And I think this is a good time of year. Also, I like to do uh, just a general detox for both myself and my dog in the spring. And then again, in the fall, yeah. um, just, to like get a baseline going. It's not like there's something going on that I need a detox for, but just to kind of keep everything working really good, really smoothly. Um, so getting that, I think the the products that you have are, are pretty gen gentle, effective, but gentle. Um, because there are some products out there on the market that are kind of like heavy duty detoxes and we don't necessarily want to jump to that. And, and also I think there are a lot of dogs who, um, their body may not actually be in a position to, to handle a detox well. <laughs> um, yeah. so, you know, keeping all of that in mind, but I, I do think that, you know, just how gentle the product is, it is, is something I also want to highlight. Um, because, you know, as I was just saying, there are some products that can be really, really harsh, like heavy detoxes. And that can be kind of scary, not like if you're doing it and you weren't expecting it, but also if you happen to give your dog something that is a heavy detox and you're like, holy moly, what is happening in your, and your dog feels like crap, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's common in humans, right? For us to have reactions to detox because we're detoxing too fast and the same is true of our our pets and um you know we have had very few people you know come to us and say hey like you know this was too fast and so it's you know the method is slow and low low and slow like just you know, dose slower go slower go one product at a time if you're introducing multiple right but uh, we haven't had a lot of challenges or issues with that um that we've heard from that parents on renew and boost. But I think you make a good point, Jessica, that the changes in seasons right, are a great time uh, for you to do a detox if you've never done one before for yourself, but especially your pet, um, because things, you know, allergies flare, other, you know, things are, are introduced. And so it's a great time to just kind of help make that transition um, for your animals. And it's something I do too. I'm just finishing up a parasite cleanse myself. So, yeah. There you go. Um, awesome. Well, I know there are a couple of other products that uh, Polypet has. Um, if you want to tell us about those. Yeah. So one of our newer products is a, is a calm um, anxiety product. And this is the first um, of its kind of gummy on the market. Uh, we found that in, in our, in our testing that cats aren't really gummy fans. <laughs> um, so for cat owners, um, this one may not be for you. Um, and then dogs have actually particularly loved it. There's some that um, have a struggle with it. And, you know, we found just cutting it up and throwing it on top of your food works well. Um, but we actually just uh, had a conversation earlier this week with a professional dog trainer that's using it um, in, in some of he does board, board training. So he houses the animals and then does training. You're very familiar with, with that as well. And um He's found it for his dogs that are involved in the training process. It's a great way he combines it with some other homeopathic stuff um, for them to get a natural solution to just be able to relax a little bit when they're in their own home environment. But then he also finds that for the animals that he's training and boarding, that it helps 
allow them be to be in more of a, an emotional and mental state, right? As an animal to accept that training better. So we're finding good, good feedback on that product. And then we have, um, uh, a, sh- a palm shield product um, to help protect against, you know, toxin absorption, you know, through paws and, and things there. And then we also have a hip and joint product as well for, for more of those senior dogs are looking for extra support. So, um, and then, yeah, we're, we're currently looking at more solutions to help, you know, the gamut of the pet detox world. Um, and, um, yeah, working with other vets to to find areas that aren't aren't really um, being supported as much as they could. So yeah, well, awesome. I think that's that's great. And and I'm as my audience knows, I I don't really have like product <laughs> placement <laughs> companies come on the show very often. Um, it's not something that I I, I have done somewhat intentionally, but when I find a a company that is really trying to get it right. I think it's important that we support those companies. Um, And to something you had said earlier about, um, you know, that you're, you're you're just, you're supplements, right? (laughs) Like you're not trying to be everything for everyone. Um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who owns a, a, my local healthy pet store and she was just she came back from global and she was just like i wish these companies would just stay in their lane like all of these food companies that have been food companies for decades are all of a sudden like well we want to take you know capture part of this supplement market so they're coming out with all these different supplements and then they're not working right like or people aren't buying them so they are constantly like taking back and adding new SKUs. And she's just like, please, your food company, stay in your lane, right? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Um, Stop. Yeah. And, you know, I think there are, I don't want to say like 100% across the board that all companies should just do one thing and do it. Like there are some companies I think that are expanding and really doing it well, but in general, it's like, do do something really really well and like provide that service to pets and pet parents and so I'm uh, I'm I'm happy to hear that <laughs> you're just like we're not everything for everyone we're just trying to do this really really well. <laughs> yeah, well, we appreciate you having us on and, and highlighting and, and using the product and recommending it. It's um it's fun to find like minded people. I, you know, pet detox isn't. Um, known or done enough yet i think we're you've been shouting it for a while and there's you know plenty of other pioneers that are shouting it and we're starting to more and more and um we're excited just to get more people doing it so yeah no i appreciate that and you know i think it, it, as you said it's just it is what it is we live in a really toxic world and we can try our best to reduce our toxin load but you know i i, I just heard the other day there was a um research paper that was published i don't it wasn't long too terribly long ago all the quote unquote organic (laughs) wines coming out of napa valley are still testing positive for glyphosate because it's in the water like we can't get around it it yeah it is it's everywhere we can't get away from all of the toxins in the world and um so we just do our best we try our best you know and um hopefully more and more people will will realize that uh even though we do our best sometimes we need to do a little bit more <laughs> yeah yeah and, absolutely and, yeah and the, i i am really excited to try all of the products um like i said boost is the one that i'm going to try next and um i'm going to be getting some data results uh from trying the renew um with with my dog Kimberly, we did uh, uh, I I did milk thistle, but I did the renew in combination with milk thistle to help uh, her liver kind of put you know get everything bound and push it all out of the body. So we're gonna we're gonna test her her liver values again here in a couple of weeks, and we'll I've got my fingers crossed. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to, I'm excited to hear how it goes. 
So. Yeah, but um, yeah. So for people who maybe haven't heard about Polypet, uh, where can they? Because I know you're all, you're on social everywhere, right? But where can people yeah. um, find out more? Look at the ingredient. Like I like I tell people all the time, read the ingredients. And how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the ingredient panel when you look at something? Because, you know, I actually uh, just interviewed another um, formulator who does supplement formulator. And he was kind of giving me a here's a couple of things to look for. Like we don't want to see certain additives and supplements. Um, And so, like, read the ingredient panel. What do you think about that? How does that make you feel? Does it make sense to you? Like, so I, I, and so when I read the ingredient panels on the Polypet products, I felt comfortable giving them to my dog. Um, So I highly encourage you to go check out the ingredient panels, see how uh, you think they're going to work for your dog. If you need help, let me know. But uh, where can people find (laughs) Polypet? Yeah, polypetproducts.com is our website. And then, you know, we're on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, pretty much anywhere that parents are, we try to be. Um, so, yeah. P O L I P E T. P O L I. P O L I. Pet P E T products dot com. Yep. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Spencer. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time, and I'm just helping to educate people a little bit more about supplementation for their dogs. Likewise. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Make sure that you're following the show so you never miss an episode. And please take a moment to rate the show on your podcast app. I'd also love it if you'd share this podcast with your friends and family so that they can benefit from the information to help their pets live long, happy lives too. Don't forget to take advantage of this special discount as a listener today and get access to over 100 online videos in my online dog training, The Furry Family Coach. Just go to thefurryfamilycoach.com and use code PODCAST at checkout to get your first month for only $7. That's thefurryfamilycoach.com and use code PODCAST at checkout to get your first month for only $7. I can't wait to have you join and see you on the inside. Oh, oh.